welcome Shaq's world, my name is Shaq. Today I'll be telling you guys how I got ripped off buying my dirt bike. But before that guys, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell for upcoming videos. So how did I get ripped off buying my Canalan 200cc dirt bike? Well, what happened was when I bought the dirt bike, I took it for a quick ride up and down the street. The bike was riding fine. I asked the owner if he had any mechanical issues. He said, no, you don't need to spend a single dollar on it. Um, I asked him if the light works. He said, yeah, everything works fine. And I just didn't have time to check everything properly. I just wanted to load it inside the van, sign the paperwork, and take the bike home as soon as possible for two reasons. One of the reasons was it was at least an hour to two hours drive. Second reason, uh, I really wanted to show the dirt bike to my younger brother because he's a bike enthusiast as well. He loves riding bikes as well, like me. So I just couldn't wait to show him the bike. I take the bike home. The lights didn't work. Same night, the lights didn't work. Go, okay, maybe it's a small issue. I just need to fix the globes and that's it. The headlight and the rear brake lights um, didn't work. Three days of owning it, only three days. As I was riding the dirt bike to my friend's house, the dirt bike turned off. I said, okay, maybe the bike's overheated or something. I leave the bike on the side of the road. Five minutes later, I start it up, it starts. I give it a rev, it turns off. I start it up again, give it a rev, it turns off. I done that about 20 times, it didn't work. I give Jason from Riding Rubber a call. He's been my mechanic for years. He's serviced every single one of my bikes. Um, I'll put his links in the description. So I give Jason a call. I go, listen, Jason, I'm having this issue. He goes, yeah, Shaq, bring the bike to us. We'll have a look at it, but it might take a week because I'm flat out. I got lots of bikes to fix. I said, yeah, no problem. Long story short, after three days of owning this motorcycle, the bike was sitting in the workshop for one week and a half. Um, it just made me lose confidence in the bike. Jason had a look at it. There was a manifold leak, he fixed the manifold leak, and there was another small issue, he fixed that up as well. When I asked him to fix the lights as well, he said, there's no power going from the wiring to the headlight or the brake light. So I said, if it's gonna cost too much, there's no problem, point of fixing it, just don't worry about it. So after that, I lost confidence in the bike because I couldn't get the lights fixed. I wanted to get rid of it. So I put it on Gumtree for $1,400. I sold it for $1,200. So you guys might think I made $200 profit, which is not true because I bought the bike for $1,000. Um, it cost me another $180 to fix. Jason fixed it. Um, another $50 to put it under my name. That was in total $1,230. So I lost about $30, which is not much because I bought the dirt bike very cheap. And when I even sold the bike, I explained the issues to the owner. He was still happy to buy it because it was very cheap. It only cost him $1,200 including registration till next year i said to him look it might be a simple fix or it might be a big fix because there's no power going through the wiring so i'm not sure if you got to change the wiring or not what stresses me out is how dishonest these people are when i was super honest i told them everything up front the issues with the bike and i said it's up to you what you want to do with it um guys thanks for watching please smash that subscribe button hit the notification bell for upcoming videos. Thank you.